Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. This is the third one from a series of sea creatures paintings and today we will be painting this seahorse and two I've painted earlier I will link down in the description box. As before I did my sketch earlier on a regular printing paper and trace it onto watercolor paper so sketch is also available for download from my website. I did trace it using a graphite paper but you, if you're using a single sheet of paper you can just trace it on your window. Also I will be using this Arsh watercolor paper it is 300 gsm or 140 pounds 26 by 36 centimeters which I have divided into half. And now I will be choosing my colors, mixing my colors. I did mix just a little bit of ultramarine with Tropical Forest from Altenew and get this beautiful green, something like a sap green, similar to sap green. And also I will be using this yellow, something like Rose Sienna from my palette of colors. I did pre -wet just with a very, very light wash, first flower and petals that are on the upper part facing toward, towards us. I've painted in a little bit lighter first and then on the bottom of the petal and also in some places adding a little bit more of the pigment. I do want the central part of the flower to be the darkest so there is the place where I'm adding the most pigment. I'm not going to try to paint every single detail on my flowers. I'm just going to paint them quite loosely, making the impression of the flowers. So don't be bothered with every single vein, every single line on your flowers. Just paint the petals lightly, add a little bit more of the pigment on the lower part of the petals and also in central part. And that's basically it. Don't fuss too much and try to paint every single detail. So I moved on to the second one while the first one was drying. Then while that one was drying, I was painting the lower petals and those I've painted again, a lower part, a little bit darker and upper part, a little bit lighter, darkest part in the center of both of my flowers. And as soon as you add that, very very dark green color to the center of your flower. You can see how it definitely does look like a flower. Just try to leave maybe a little bit of the white space between your petals. That is how you will make that distinction especially with those that are facing us and those that are turned away from us so that those near and further away from us from the center. One more flower in the lower part and then I did again pick up a light wash of green and painted in the head of the seahorse quite light and since we are using one color you can also leave those uh, wider parts, uh, those lighter parts you can leave even lighter. Make a, a bigger contrast. I did not try to make a huge contrast between my colors but you can definitely do that. Make them just look like a little bit of white and the darkest part uh, even darker than I have painted. So you will get a little bit more of the contrast and those objects uh, on your painting will be a little bit more visible. I did not try that. My colors are quite in a small range. So not trying to make a huge contrast on my painting. Again, I did paint a head, a lower part of head, a little bit darker, making it look like it's in a shadow. And the eye of the seahorse I've painted in with black. So again, light wash for the body of the seahorse and then those stripes on it. I did paint it a little bit darker and now with a smaller brush adding even more details. Again, using all the time the same colors, just a little bit lighter and a little bit darker. Then outlining the body of the seahorse with again this smaller round brush. And back for his tail I did paint it quite light first adding a little bit more details to it. 
and again while the paint was drying it was becoming lighter so I was just adding details here and there where I thought they would be necessary so I did want to match the darkness of my colors from the central part of the flower where the darkest parts on the body on those stripes for my seahorse so that is the thing that I did want to match to just have the complete image and to have the well to make it look a little bit nicer a little bit of raw sienna here and there on its body and on its head and of course some splatters because you know splatters are always welcome why not just to make it a little bit looser some splatters also with white gouache and also a couple of details with white gouache I did wanted to make some parts a little bit brighter so I've added on some places on the flowers and also on the body head of the seahorse I've added a little bit of white gouache and also as you can see now that it's drying it's becoming lighter so it won't be so visible as it was when we added that color just a little bit more of the darkest shadows the dar darkest highlights and I'm adding those in with this small detail brush and just beneath the flowers I did want to add a little bit more of the black maybe I shouldn't have done that because at the end I did not really like how it looked a little bit of the shadows just to make the distinction between the flowers and the body and well I guess I'm not very too pleased with that but it is what it is a little bit more of the splatters with white gouache and then with this white gel pen I've added a couple of dots just to again make some parts a little bit stand out to make it just a little bit more shinier and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video and this series of sea creatures if you do like this video or this series please hit the like button share it and comment you can say thanks also by clicking on the thanks button next to the subscribe and get a little bit more info about that if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me and again thank you so much for watching i hope i'll see you next time bye